Welcome to my nighttime skincare routine. The first thing I gotta do is gently take off any eye makeup or lashes. So I take Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover and a Q-tip and gently remove the lashes. Um, I'm totally talking about removing my fake lashes by the way. You're not on the darker side of YouTube just yet. I think it's pretty important to have a specific product for your eyes because they're pretty gentle and you don't want to damage your natural lashes either by pulling off your eyelashes. And to remove the makeup on my entire face, I use Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Talent. I forgot to do this earlier, but remember to pin your hair up while doing all this. I have so much hair, tying it up gives me a headache, so I just use a headband. I like how much Neutrogena products do not only do a good job cleaning my face, but they leave my face feeling a little more moisturized after using them. Even though I use makeup removing tiles, I don't think I've completely removed all my makeup yet, so I'm using this Mariah Purifying and Hydrating Face Wash. The two products from Mariah that I'm using in this video, the Purifying Face Wash and the Multitasking Serum, is made from the Japanese formula with the antioxidant called astaxanthin, which is 6,000 times more powerful than vitamin C. There are no bad chemicals, preservatives, coloring, or fragrance that can age the skin prematurely. It feels really light and not heavy, and I don't really smell a thing while using it. A little bit goes a long way, you don't need to add a lot of it. If you're interested in getting this, check out the link down below for Mirai products. Thank you Mirai for sponsoring me to make this video. Now my face is clean, and I usually want to throw on a sheet mask or a clay mask. I have the Eliza Vecca Milk Piggy Carbonated Clay Mask at the moment. It's different from other clay masks because the carbonated action deep cleans their pores. It's gentle on my skin and isn't difficult to get off like other clay masks. I can take a bunch of funny pictures and send it to my friends for laughs too. When I add this on, I avoid my eye areas. Of course, with every mask, you should do that. Wait 5 minutes for the magic to happen. I like how ugly and foamy it makes me look, and I like popping the foam. Add some water and massage it into my face, and it gently comes off. My face feels super soft after using this. After the clay mask, I add on my Mariah Serum. It simplifies my beauty routine. It acts as a toner, moisturizer, age-defying serum in one. It also acts as a primer before applying my makeup. Fun fact, modern geishas use this before they apply their own makeup. If you're also interested in trying out the serum, I highly recommend it, and the link to it is down in the description box. Mariah is doing a little giveaway. Be sure to check in the description on how to enter. My favorite moisturizer at the moment is Clinique for combination skin, and they have different types of moisturizers for different skin types too, even. I use May for Sea Body Cream and Sealy Jasmine all over my bod. I like how this practically melts onto your skin and doesn't feel greasy. Burst beads chapsticks on my lips. And I use these Evening Porn Rose Oil Tablets to balance out my hormones for my hormonal acne. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, and sub. Check out Mariah in the description down below. Bye!